All right, our next speaker is Fangle Chain. She's a postdoc at Penn State working in the Agricultural and Biological Systems Engineering Program, and she's going to talk to us about evaluating greenhouse gas emissions from dairy manure. Thanks. Um, good morning, everyone. Hi, um, I'm from the postdoc from Penn State University. I'm working with uh, Dr. Tom Richard, and uh, I joined this project on October uh, 2016. So I'm kind of new here. And uh, um, today I'm going to present what we did and uh, what kind of the result we got. And uh, we already have a big picture of this project and uh, some details. So now I'm going to present the data part. And uh, my uh, topic today is evaluation of greenhouse gas emissions from uh, dairy manures. Okay. Um, our objectives include uh, to understand the mechanism involved in the production, uh, emission, and the reduction of greenhouse gases uh, emitted from dairy manure. And uh, we uh, compare the gas emission rates among these different manure, uh, dairy manures uh, with different uh, body materials and uh, <coughs> different uh, treatments. Um, in Pennsylvania, uh, we have these five uh, common uh, manure types. And uh, in this work, uh, we uh, invited these three types. And uh, the manure samples were collected from the Penn State Dairy Bar <coughs> and the characteristics of the uh, physical and the biochemical properties. And uh, the manure properties were summarized in this table. And from this table, we can see this different, uh, this amongst three, uh, these three manures. The bad pack manure seems to have the lowest uh, bulk density and the moisture content, but with uh, the highest uh, permeabilities. Uh, we would like to see how these uh, properties uh, got related to the gas emission right. So the manure sample, uh, to make sure the manure sample can be a uh, homogeneous, a uh, blender was used to mix these samples. And then these samples were added to the bucket layer by layer. And a uh, uh, gas monitor was used uh, to measure this uh, emission runs. Um, because the moisture from the sample can reduce the machine accuracy, so a moisture trip was added between the sample and the uh, gas monitor. So after, uh, after experiments running the three different manures, we got four gases emission runs, uh, three of which are uh, greenhouse gases and ammonia. So here is the uh, results, uh, result for these four different uh, gases. We can see that uh, we didn't get any uh, lesson uh, for the bad pack and uh, also, we didn't get any ammonia for the uh, organic binding. And, uh, but for the organic binding, we got the most uh, CO2 measurement. And uh, even the uh, N2O uh, uh, value is really low, but because it's still considered really important the greenhouse gases, so we still like uh, get the uh, uh, emission rent here. And uh, um, OK, so. Uh, besides the uh, uh, gas emission from the manure surface, we also wondering what, uh, how about the manure within the manure uh, inside. And uh, because the manure particles uh, par par at uh, different uh, depths uh, can have different, uh, can have under different uh, stress, and uh, how different air field pars uh, porosity and uh, permeabilities. So we would like to see, uh, we would like to see what uh, what happened if we compose these manures and uh, well this will change the uh, uh, greenhouse emission right. So uh, we said the experiment we used the uh, uh, three different uh, stress, uh, zero pounds, fifty pounds, and uh, one hundred fifty pounds to uh, simulate the, the manure inside the manure pail. And uh, each uh, treatment, we use the three buckets to do the reception. And after com uh, com uh, compaction 48 hours, and uh, we measured the uh, experiments again. 
here we can see the bug density is increased among all the three different manures, but the permeability is uh, reduced. Um, except, uh, only the staked, uh, staked manure didn't uh, show a really clear trend, but uh, in general, they both reduced after the compaction. Yeah, and uh, uh, we found something interesting about the, uh, the most uh, CO2 emissions uh, uh, happened in a really certain permeability zone, and uh, we, uh, which I will show later. So here is the result of the uh, compare with the three different treatments. We can see about the, the CO2. Okay, about CO2, we can see that uh, before the compaction, the organic bedding has the most uh, uh, CO2 emission rate. But after the compaction, uh, the bed pack has the most uh, CO2 emission rate. And uh, remember from the, and the, the all the permeability of these three manure uh, fall in the same zone, which is really interesting. We still didn't get any mason for the uh, bad pack even after the compaction. And uh, also we didn't get any ammonia uh, uh, for the organic bedding. And then the change of the uh, N2O um, didn't show any certain trend. But uh, we would lose uh, the NO2 for the bad pack after the compaction. So, um, after uh, knowing the how the uh, how the gas emissions happened in, uh, within the manure, we would like to see that like, uh, if we change the manure uh, particle uh, particle size, what will happen? So we know that if we increase the more circumference, the manure parti particle will agree uh, 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 will increase. The size will increase. And also the air, but the air field porosity and permeability will reduced. So. Uh, what will happen? Uh, this is for the uh, stacked manure. After um, after change the uh, increase the moisture context, we can see that the CO two emission rate reduced uh, certainly, and uh, and also with the methane uh, emission rate. But the ammonia didn't uh, show any certain like a uh, trend. But uh, the also with the N N two O. So this is the result for the backpack. Still, the CO2 uh, emotion rate reduced uh, when we increased the moisture content. But we still didn't get any maximum even when we changed the moisture content. And the change, uh, the change for the ammonia is not really uh, certain, is not really clear. But the uh, NGO increased uh, really obviously. And uh, for the organic binding, uh, CO2 also, the CO2 uh, reduced uh, with the moisture, uh, moisture content increased. But the methane uh, shows a different uh, result. The methane uh, increased with the moisture increase, moisture content increased. And the uh, change between, uh, the change among ammonia and the NO2 didn't show any clear trend. So um, after change the moisture content, we would we are really uh, also in interested in what will happen if we store this manure for different time. So we uh, we store the uh, different kind of, uh, the manure with different moisture content for five uh, different time: one day, two weeks, one month, two months, and then three months. All this manure are stored in the uh, same temperature, and also we make sure that there's no. Uh, is under the uh, an Arabic uh, situation. So here's the result because we only did uh, finish the one month one yet. So here's the result. Uh, all, uh, among all the other uh, gases, uh, the change didn't really uh, are not really obvious. But for the CO two, we can see that it dropped really dramatically, like uh, clear. So we got the. Uh, Conclusions like uh, uh, we got different uh, emission uh, gas emission rates from different uh, manure types, and uh, the highest uh, CO2 emission rate seemed to occur nearly uh, near per, uh, permeability values uh, for this certain value. And uh, after the compaction, uh, the uh, 
In the statement near the CO2 and the CH4, uh, emission rates reduced. And uh, in the bag attack man uh, manure, the NH3 and NO2 emission rate reduced, but with the CO2 uh, emission rate in uh, increased. Also in the in uh, organic bag manure, the CO2 and the CH4 uh, emissions is reduced. So also increase the moisture content, we can see that uh, can reduce the CO2 emission, but did not uh, um, affect uh, all the other gases. So that's the storage time. Thank you. Great. Okay. Questions? Yeah. Well, if you think that uh, the water holding capacity or the moisture content <coughs> increased, would you change the microbial community? Or do you think it was still staying aerobic? Out of this, in my head, I'm expecting to see. There's no effort to sort of catch whatever gases came off in that first, you know, day or so. I just didn't know if maybe you had a, a release during the compaction process that you might have missed. That's good questions. Yeah, that may happen. Yeah. Other questions? If you were to, to compare the three storage methods uh, based upon total greenhouse gas emission and CO2 equivalent or something like that, is there an advantage for one form of storage over another, or manure over another? Uh, for storage, because I just, um, <coughs> because, um, I got, uh, when I take, uh, like take over this project, I only did the organic biting part, and the other two manures like, uh, uh, I take over from my colleagues. And uh, for my experiments, I see the difference for the manure I was working on, uh, is organic biting, but for his, I don't think, I don't think he did the storage. So I'll just add, Rick, I, I think we need to run those numbers specifically, but the, the CO2, the methane is quite low in all of the studies relative to the CO2. So the CO2 dominates. So the, those results for the stack manure, excuse me, the bed pack manure, were highest uncompacted, but the organic bedding was higher. Um, the stack of the organic bedding was high, much higher when it was compacted. We don't know if that met with that CO2, when we expect that it's going to be released, so we think that's the worst situation of the ones we tested. We need to really figure out what happens. Any other questions? Yeah. How did you how do you measure the water holding capacity? Is that water holding capacity of the solids, or uh, why is that important? Yeah, because it can change the uh, manure particle size, and if it can uh, change the uh, particle size, it can change the how the like, uh, how much air can get through. And uh, it can change uh, how the gas get in and come out. So, so the higher water holding capacity, the less bigger particle size. Bigger the particle size, the less air can go through. Yes. Okay. And how do you measure that? Yeah, I use oven. You use oven? Yeah. Oven. Oh, to see the moisture. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks very much.